get things out of the way. Um, did you supply Kelly Kumalo with drugs? Was there ever any altercations no. based on drug money? No, uh, nothing at all. Because I mean, I've, I'm, I've been clean. You know, even at the time, um, I was I was clean from drugs. Kelly herself is is off drugs, so I don't know what what these people are talking about. Even her, uh, Kelly uh, doesn't take drugs anymore. So it's all rubbish. All right. Yeah. And one of the most frequently asked questions from our listeners on the drive. Basically, the police were there already. Okay, so they I don't, before she the, called. Uh, yeah, the police were there already. Uh, and I don't know who called them because I, 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 I was also, you know, um, very saddened. I was actually uh, crying in a way because I'm, 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 I'm a Orlando Pirates supporter myself. You know, how can I murder my own goalkeeper and how can I murder send in front of his best friend without him coming out to get me in jail mm -hmm. doesn't make sense mm -hmm. one of the other massive talking points and also the reason story around the gun yeah well uh, my father is a very powerful man sorry to put it this way um, my father's got a lot to protect but he doesn't walk around with bodyguards my father carries his gun 24 7 you know what I mean um, you'd never make that mistake and leave his gun anyway, you know? He always has his gun on him, you know? And I respect my father. Why would I take his gun and, and, and mess around with it? You know what I mean? I could never do such a thing. Obviously, one of the other massive talking points and also the reason primarily uh, why your father decided to speak to us yesterday is around the gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the uh, allegations is that the gun that shot Senzo was in fact your dad's gun. Mm -hmm. Um, and he came on the show yesterday and he was responding to that. I mean, what's your response to uh, how that has now played a role in compounding the allegations? The story around the gun. Yeah, well, uh, my father is a very powerful man, sorry to put it this way. Um, my father's got a lot to protect, but he doesn't walk around with bodyguards. My father... Um, I, as a, as a person, I'm, I'm actually very scared. Why are you scared? Uh, I'm not scared of that, that uh, I can be arrested for killing Senzo because I know I'm innocent. I'm just scared that, you know, I can get the wrong crowd of people who can attack me for no reason. I mean, Sam Mayiwa was... Uh, I was about to say, was, it's interesting because mm. Sam Mayiwa is, um, according to him, mm. allegedly receiving death threats. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have no idea where that could be coming mm. from. Why do you think, and I know this is a loaded question because you are not investigating this case, mm. why do you think it is taking police so long to find what is clearly indicating to be a bunch of amateur robbers? It's either, it's either these robbers are not South Africans, they probably skipped the country, or it's just that well, maybe they're, they're the police are just not getting the forensic investigation right, they're not working hard enough. All right. Well, you know... I'm a police, Jenga Manji. Kumele Engabe Abopa, Ulongwe Twala for killing Usenzo. Usenzo was shot by Ulongwe Twala. There was no one who entered the house. They say Abopa, all these police who have defeated the ends of justice. Mm. Usenzo was shot by Ulongwe Twala. Mm. But may you, uh, but may you. Listen, listen. Hmm. A, call, a call was made by Tumelo. The first call when his friends were shot was with Tumelo. His boyfriend, Kazandi, of which he didn't know by name, a shot his friends and then a phone was dropped. At the background, Ukeli, she was crying, go down to the tree, go to the and that information was given to the SAPS. Who would see why they do not want to arrest? Now, everything, or oh, out of everything that Longe Twala said, our very first problem is the fact that he said it was a robbery gone wrong. And uh, I thought it, is, it would be nice of us to have these discussions today Simply because Advocate Mgomezulu argued this in court and say, we are told that this was a hit, but we are arguing in court a robbery gone wrong. Now, that alone is this script 
written by whosoever wrote the script that does not make sense. Now, I'm going to make you listen to the entire audio, but before I make you listen to the entire audio, there are other things that I want us to underline out of what Longo said. He then goes on and say, um, I went outside when the intruders got into the house. Then we say we have a problem right there. Now, it creates a dilemma if we are to accept his version as true. Because according to the confession coming from Danzi and uh, Sibia, Sibia tells a story that Sibia was stationed outside the yard. Mapisa was next to the window. Then there were these two individuals that went into the house, which is Marco and Makimbi, that went into the house. According to Ndanzi's version, Sbia was outside. Him and Carlos Mube went inside. Either way, whether you want to look at the Ndanzi version or Sbia version, it still amounts to one thing. Why didn't Sbia see this guy when he was running out? Why didn't he mention him as he was running out? That creates a dilemma. It shows he is lying. But I know you're not lying. So I put it to you that you do the following. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? Will bring you more, and also, guys, want to buy more equipment. So, the power is in your hands. Please do the honorable thing as we proceed. Now, the other mistakes that the other mistake that he does, he says that uh, I, I, I look. He said when I, when when he had to justify whether or look why didn't he go out there to look for help. He then said. I didn't have my phone with me, right? Uh, he says, I didn't have my phone because I'd left it uh, in the house. That is, those are the things that I want you to pay attention to in the interview. So that's why when he left uh, to seek for help, he didn't have his phone with him. We say, oh, long way. Okay, we get this. Now, listen, the very same man, have being there contradict himself and uh, there's a, there's a reason why i want us to listen to the entire thing then he says uh, a fight broke loose inside the house uh, meaning the intruder where men hanging kelly kumalo and right there we say whoa now it was a robbery gone wrong what they are trying to say to us is that Kelly Kumalo was a victim of the day and was the target of the day. But Senzo Meiwa, that's the, the picture that they are painting. And there is a reason why I'm having a very difficult uh, time understanding this, right? So bear with me as I go through this, right? So notice that according to this version, who was targeted by this so-called intruders. Now, do you remember? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into this one. So, the, uh, look, uh, uh, the intention was to was, was not to kill Usenzo Meiwa. How do you know the intentions of these people? Because this was a robbery. How do you know the intentions of the thieves, right? That, that was the, another question that came into my mind to say, uh, but you're saying to me, the intentions was not to kill Senzo Mehiwa, but it was in a self-defense. That's how he got shot. 
how do you know all of this to an extent that you will detail it the way you are detailing it because when when the whole thing happened you were outside why are you explaining things that happened inside when you were outside i know one will say this is not binding to uh, 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 to the guy ulongo twala why because when he said all of this he said it uh, when he was not under oath however we we, we are expecting longwe twala to collaborate all of all of the things that are here as he takes the stand why if he deviate here he would have proven himself a liar of note now he then said yena he ran outside of the door and that's where i said as per the confessions then they must have seen him. Why didn't they see or why didn't they saw Longwe leaving the house? This is where you see. We are testing what Longwe said against the confessions from accused number one and two, Musica Kulelos Bia and Bongani Dance. Now, I'm gonna play the audio, or I'm gonna I'm gonna play that of Loko that which was said by Longwe at the end of this but pay attention to this so he says he had three shots he explains that the three shots pa 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 came from the house you must listen to the version given by the police the police only found one bullet that's number one so as you have listened to the case of Senzo Meiwa this is where you see that this is a lie because they only found one bullet. Where are the other bullet hole? If you don't find the, the cartridge, if you don't find the bullet prototype, then it's fine. We can accept that. But then you're going to have to balance us here. In the house, there must be pictures where we see that, oh, this bullet, uh, this is the hole where the bullet, you know what I'm saying? And number three, on the issues of bullet, according to another statement, you will notice that two bullets inside the house, one bullet outside the house. That, again, is another lie. But don't worry. We will entertain their lies, and it, it, it will be unfair for this accused to be arrested for this, I'm telling you. Now he says, uh, when he was asked about his phone, these criminals couldn't take my phone because I ran with my phone contradicting what he said in the beginning that he had his phone with him now he has to justify why didn't you call the police he couldn't he couldn't justify that it is what he said at the end that is very important for your liking by the way what he says at the end is very 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 important but pay attention to something else else that he said he says the police were there already and that's why he didn't call the police remember that at first he left his phone inside so it justify why he couldn't call the police but then when he changes his statement and say uh when he was asked then why didn't you call the police he then changes and say listen uh i ran with my phone who called the police why didn't you guys call the police no the police were there now here's the problem with that according to the statement given by zandi kumalo there were no police there According to the statement given by look, um, Dumelo, there were no police there. According to the statement given by Togozisi, there were no police there. According to the statement given by police themselves, they were never there. So, the police that Longo Twala saw, where were they? Because you will remember that the two police, when they were testifying, they said they arrived when Senzo Meiwa was already at the hospital. And then they were told about what happened. They didn't do anything as they were justifying why they could, didn't call on the scene and close everything. They went back to they went back they went to the, not they went to the hospital. As they entered the hospital, they they came across the BMW driven by Kelly Kumalo, and that's Kelly Kumalo didn't even want to talk to them. I said somebody will explain what have happened, and then pointed them. Uh, to the reception they went to the reception they got the story they sold the the, the, the board of sense of me that is when they add on to them that oh 
That was the crime scene. If you remember their testimony, do you get what I'm trying to say? I think it is Mteto who was testifying and said things exactly what I'm trying to, or what I'm telling you. So this then what Longwe said here it contradict everybody in that house, and we are expecting him to continue here. If he doesn't, even though he said this not under oath, but it will still mean a lot in terms of saying you are a liar. He will not change his statement. Uh, then he said something quite interesting. He says he's scared of people. Uh, people might do harm to him. I, uh, I don't even want to entertain that. People might kill him. I, I don't even want to entertain that. Let me just, <laughs> like, really, really. I don't even want to talk about that to begin with, but it's fine. Now, it is what uh, Yazi, at the end of this conversation, there are things that Longo Twala said. He's asked about why didn't Long, why did Kelly Kumalo call your father instead of, listen carefully, instead of emergency services. When he saw that, this question is very deep. He says, no, guys, Kel, call Kelly Kumalo. Why am I being asked all this question? You guys should have called Kelly Kumalo, not me. And I said, I'm like, my man, <laughs> my man. <laughs> and then he says, um, Metro FM then, uh, the presenter says, this, um, this, these people were amateur in Robert. Uh, they, they said on the basis of the description given by Ulongwe Twala. And now, it, which the description given by Ulongwe Twala of these amateur robbers, it contradicts everything that the police are telling us. They are telling us that these are real hitmen. These are people who have committed crimes even uh, look. So you cannot expect such from these people. So whatever they are saying, whatever the look, okay, look, look, this guy look, long at all I saying, he's exposing Zandi Kumalo, he's exposing look, he's exposing Tumelom Togo, um Tap Seng, um uh, the police that testified in that case, Gininda himself. Whatever, like, like everything that he said on, on Metro FM, it, it, it exposes this shenanigans. But nevertheless, he then say, he is being asked, Guti, uh, why are these people not caught? I like the answer there. I, you know, I like the answer. The man said, he thinks that the people who committed the, the, these things, they might not be South Africans. Right? Oh, if they are not South Africans, so they have fled South Africa. They are no longer in South Africa. That's why they are not caught. We say, oh, long way. We get you. Hmm. But then, here's another problem. He then said, maybe police are not doing their work. Okay? Guys, Longatala is coming to testify in court. We have already seen his lies. What, do we, what more do you expect from Longo? Get into the comment section below. I want to know from you. What do you expect Longo will tell us? That we should listen. What do you expect Longo to tell us? Having done my work today, I just want to stop it here. And I want to make you listen to the next audio from Longo Twala. You and I will see each other in the next video. But until such a time, Please, guys, take care. We welcome you to The Drive Longway. Thank you so much for responding to our invitation yes, uh, on sorry. the back of uh, a conversation we had with your father yesterday and uh, Sam you were the day before. So how do you respond to the allegations that you killed Senzo? Um, I'm actually saddened that um, my own people can do this to me, you know. Um, I mean, it was a robbery gone wrong, you know. Um, I was even the coward of the day. Because I actually ran out as those uh, gunmen actually came in uh, uh, and requested phones and, and money from us. Uh, I was actually the first to stand up to try and protect uh, uh, everyone. 
not not realizing that the other guy was uh, also had a gun and pointed a gun at me and I actually ran out the door after that uh, after he he pointed that gun at me in self in self defense. Mm. From then I was outside. Uh, I wanted to go uh, get help, mm. uh, but it was late. Uh, neighbors and everyone was sleeping. I didn't even have my phone because I left it at the house, so I couldn't call the cops. So then uh, a, a, a fight broke loose inside because obviously uh, Senza was protecting Kelly because the guys were man- handling Kelly, requesting uh, money and stuff from her. And then uh, a fight broke loose. Basically, Senza was protecting everyone and he fought the guys. Everyone in the house fought as I was outside. Uh, uh, and then that's when uh, uh, the guys actually uh, um, released the gunshots. And the intention, I think, was also not to kill Senzo, but they were protecting themselves because Senzo was overpowering them as he's a strong goalkeeper and was actually beating them. And that's when uh, 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 the, the, the bullet actually went in from the back and, and, and killed Senzo. So, uh, as you probably know by now, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of talk around this case. Yes. And there are recent allegations that have surfaced with the hashtag Senzo Meiwa on yes. social media. Yes. But we want to just hear from you. Mm. What actually happened on that day? Basically, um, what happened, I could say, was a robbery gone wrong. Uh, Were gu- you in the house? I was in the house when those two, when those two guys, I, rem- I remember the, 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 the two guys. One was a, a, a tall, light guy who was wearing a sporty. And one was a short guy wearing a um, sort of khaki jacket. Um, he had dreadlocks. So when they came in, they, they, they demanded uh, money and, uh, and, and cell phones from us. Then I stood up because I was scared because I didn't, I, I I, I didn't know what was going on, basically. I was actually probably the coward of the day, let me put it that way. You know, yeah. I stood up in because uh, uh, I tried to fight one of the guys mm. in in order to 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 defend in everyone and defend myself, but not knowing mm. that he had a gun, mm. so he pointed the gun at me, and that's when I ran out the door because mm. I didn't know what was going to happen. What were you all doing in the house just before these two guys um, entered the home? Um, basically, um, it was the time when I was dating Uzandi. Mm. I mean, I I came that day innocently. We was checking each other. Mm. You know what I mean? I didn't come. Uh, to even chill, you know, I just came to pick Zandi up, but then Zandi told me, what you know, the mother has cooked some uh, Sunday lunch. Mm. Can I please stay over for the lunch? Uh, I mean, for, for, so it was actually, yeah, Sunday, can I stay over for the lunch and everything? So I was like, okay, you know, why not? You know, um, I, I loved Zandi at the time, you know, I wanted also a good, uh, a good, uh, 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 reputation towards the mother and everything. So, I, you know, I, I stayed. So whilst we're, we're eating, whilst we're eating, um, that's when uh, we're eating, sharing jokes and everything. And then that's when these two guys came in and re- uh, requested uh, money and, 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 and cell phones from us. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, to your recollection, you mentioned the fact that you ran out the house. I mean, is there anything else that is quite telling that you remember from that night in terms of what happened after Senzo was shot? Um, basically, I can't, I don't know what happened in the house because mm-hmm. I was not in the house at mm-hmm. the time. I was outside. All I heard was three gunshots. Hmm. Um, and from outside the house? From, from outside the house. All I heard was three gunshots. Um, but what, what I remember after was just, it was just chaos. Obviously, mm. we, we, we were trying to uh, bring Senzo uh, back, you know what I mean? Drove him to hospital and everything, and, and only to find out the sad news that he had, he had, he had passed on. It was mm. chaos, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, and I'm speechless as well because, yeah. yeah I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's a case and it's an investigation. So yeah. in terms of interactions with the police, I mean, what's yeah. been your experience with that since the incident? Have you been interacting with the police? Have they called you? Um, yes, mm. we've, we've been investigated. We in, uh, investigated hardcore by police. Uh, they took our phones. Uh, I went in for questioning and everything. Did, and you, did you guys, um, which phones? Uh, our, our, self, our personal cell phones. Oh, okay. Yes, just, um, they, yeah. did, they hadn't taken them from you. They, they, yeah, they took them from us, and then the, the criminals. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay. no. The criminals, they couldn't take my phone because I ran out. Ran I had my phone in my pocket, so they didn't take my phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then they took my phone and everything just to check if you know I've got any involvement in the in, in the murder, and they didn't find anything. We were acquitted by the police. We we're actually acquitted. Yeah. So I don't, I, I don't understand where all this is coming from. You know this. 
Yeah, and, and to be fair to you and, yeah. and some of the people who may or may not know uh, why all of a sudden these allegations yeah. have surfaced, aside from the fact that um, Senzo Meiwa's dad was on the drive yes. making his own allegations, mm. but um, there is a Twitter handle. Um, yes. I think it's at Advocate Barry Rue. Yes, I, heard about that. A number of things that have surfaced, and I'm just, just to clarify, mm. get things out of the way. Mm. Um, did you supply Kelly Kumalo with drugs? Was there ever any altercations no. based on drug money? Uh, no, uh, nothing at all. Because I mean, I've, I'm, I've been clean, you know. And even at that time, um, I was I was clean from drugs. Kelly herself is is off drugs, so I don't know what what these people are talking about. Even her, uh, Kelly uh, doesn't take drugs anymore. So it's all rubbish. All right. Yeah. And one of the most frequently asked questions from our listeners on the drive after our conversation with your dad, Chico Twala, yeah. yesterday, um, there are about 19, if not more, tweets of people asking, why did Kelly hmm. call your father, Chico, before calling the police? How did that happen? What exactly happened? Uh, um, basically, the police were there already. Okay, so they I don't, the, the, uh, yeah, the police were there already, uh, and I don't know who called them because I, 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 I was also, you know, um, very saddened. I was actually uh, crying in a way because I'm, 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 I'm a Orlando Pirates supporter myself. You know, how can I murder my own goalkeeper, and how can I murder stand in front of his best friend without him coming out to get me in jail? Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. One of the other massive talking points and also the reason primarily uh, why your father decided to speak to us yesterday is around the gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the uh, allegations is that the gun that shot Senzo was in fact your dad's gun. Mm -hmm. um, and he came on the show yesterday and he was responding to that. I mean, what's your response to uh, how that has now played a role in compounding the allegations? The story around the gun. Yeah, well, uh, my father is a very powerful man. Sorry to put it this way. Um, my father's got a lot to protect. But he doesn't walk around with bodyguards. My father carries his gun 24-7. You know what I mean? Um, you'd never make that mistake and leave his gun anywhere. You know? He always has his gun on him. You know? And I respect my father. Why would I take his gun and, and, and mess around with it? You know what I mean? I could never do such a thing. Obviously, these allegations are doing the rounds and it's having an impact on your life. Yeah. What, what's that been like? You know, I'm actually saddened, saddened that my own people could do this to me. Um, I'm saddened that people just believe anything that comes from the media. The media is making money. They can write anything they want to write in order to destroy something, in, in order to gain something. Um, but um, I, as a, as a person, I'm, I'm actually very scared. Why are you scared? Uh, I'm not scared of that, that uh, I can be arrested for killing Senzo because I know I'm innocent. I'm just scared that, you know, I can get the wrong crowd of people who can attack me for no reason. I mean, Sam Meiwa was... Uh, I was about to say, was, it's interesting because mm. Sam Meiwa is, um, according to him, mm. allegedly receiving death threats. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have no idea where that could be coming mm. from. Mm. Um, so... We said we'd be taking calls, but we're not taking calls. What are we doing right well, now? Well, we got a we got a, a lot of tweets coming in, um, and obviously people are, are asking all types of questions. And I, I suppose a lot of them are around what we've already been discussing around who called the ambulance. I mean, for example, uh, and it's all in the name of clarity, quite frankly. I mean, here's a tweet from Massive Underscore Sound uh, saying, "Why did Kelly call Longway's father instead of the ambulance when Senzo was shot?" I mean, do you guys have, you know, a discussion in terms of re recalling the incidents of that night as you guys looked back and, and came together again? Um, basically, you know, I don't know why everything's on me. Kelly should also be here to actually explain this, her part of the story. Maybe she you, should be you, brought you know into the studio mean? next. Because I, I seriously don't know why everything is, is pointed at me. I don't know how even ambulance and stuff was called because, I mean, I, I, was, I was even, because um, Kelly was the one who drove Senzo to the hospital. I followed probably uh, uh, 30, 40 minutes later because I couldn't find the hospital. You know what I mean? So I don't know how other arrangements were done. Why do you think, and I know this is a loaded question because you are not investigating this case, mm -hmm. why do you think it is taking police so long to find what is clearly indicating to be a bunch of amateur robbers? It's either, it's either these robbers are not South Africans. They probably skipped the country. Or it's just that, well, maybe the, the, the police are just not getting their forensic investigation right. They're not working hard enough. All right. 
Well, you know, I think we've pretty much asked all the questions that people have been asking on Twitter, and we certainly appreciate you making the time to be here. We have uh, decided not to take calls, and I do apologize to everybody who's calling in at the moment. But otherwise, you know, he came and um, he said what he's had to say. So you can continue to tweet us at Moflefa DJ at Masachabandlovo and be sure to hashtag the Drive on Metro. And uh, you can also hashtag uh, Senzo Meiwa. As it continues, I certainly hope that we find answers and I certainly hope that someone, whoever is responsible for the death of Senzo, gets brought to book. Mo? No, absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm deeply saddened by what happened. I mean, before you go along, how, how do you feel about everything? The fact that Senzo's killer hasn't been found? Um, I feel um, I've, I've, I feel saddened, actually, that, um, especially that fingers are pointed at me. You know, um, I feel that the, the police really need to get the, investigation, the forensic investigation right. You know what I mean? And stop pointing fingers. You know what I mean? I'm just saddened that... Uh, that sense was gone, obviously, and that my own people could also do this to me, you know. All right. Thank you so yeah. much, uh, Longwe Twala.